went through too much. Yeah. Hold that bubble, eh? Train that mother, train that mother, bro. We covered it. Yeah, I'm covered in. I was dug in it. I was just loving it. That's why I'm loving it. What's good, YouTube? Jayla here. Now, in today's video, I'm about to talk about a little bit. I'm about to talk about a little bit of things about 2K19. Now, as I can see in the background, I have already pre-ordered NBA 2K19. But in this video, I really haven't made no 2K videos yet. There's a lot of people around here making videos on the little news that they are getting. I haven't made no type of videos yet because we haven't seen no part gameplay. All we have seen is like um, face creations, my team, stuff like that. I don't play my team. I don't. I only play part basically. Um, I don't even think we got my career gameplay yet. So like in this video, um, I'm just gonna talk about my opinion on how 2K19 is gonna be from the little news that we have been getting from Mike Wayne. The first thing I'm gonna say, and hopefully this doesn't turn out to be true. Now in my opinion, y'all, I feel like NBA 2K19 is going to be like 18 with better defense. And why I say that is because I'm on the Mike Wayne page. He's the only dev that's really dropping a lot of information about 2K19. I'm on his Twitter. I'm on his Twitter. If y'all don't have a Twitter, it's like one of the, the best social medias you can have. Um, why? Because the 2K community, everyone is on Twitter. Uh, the 2K devs on Twitter, that's where you found a lot of your news at. That's why a lot of people have been doing the videos they have been doing because of Twitter and the news that been getting leaked on Twitter. What they're going for in 19 is kind of stopping people from dribbling. They're kind of stopping people from dribbling. Um, they said, well, Mike Wayne said, he said, um, new dribble fatigue model in 19. He said, if you over dribble, your ball control will drop and your move will degrade in speed slash effectiveness. So spamming too many moves will drop your dribble tier and eventually cause you to fumble the ball. So he said it needs to be efficient with the ball this year. So basically what they're trying to do, and that's why a lot of people have been saying dribblers, people who spam dribble moves are going to be kind of messed up for 19 because they are like, they, they're not allowing people to just spam dribble moves. I see a lot of people saying they should um, lower the shot clock because you have some people who just dribble the whole 24 seconds. Um, I feel like if you can't guard the dribble moves in TK, your defense is just terrible. Um, 2K17, the dribble move was not hard to guard at all. 2K18, um, it was kind of hard, but it's like if you played it a lot, you could read what the person is about to do. All everyone do is these behind the backs, um, what, spins and just run straight around. It ain't nothing but behind the backs to get around the opponent every time. It's nothing but behind the backs. So it's like, if you can't guard somebody, you just need to work on your defense. Defense was not, it's not hard guarding people who just sit there and spam gym moves all the time. It's not hard to guard that, bro. I see a lot of people have been complaining well, they was like, they're not complaining. They was thankful. One dude said, nah, bro, this is what we need. Spammers are toxic. And I'm like, if you can't, like, how can't you not guard that, bro? Like, how, how you can't guard that? Spammers are not hard to guard. I really do feel sorry for the people who actually are dribble gods in the 2K community because on 19, it's kind of done for. I don't think they are going to be able to do a lot of the dribble moves that you did on 17 and 18. It's kind of done for because it's like they upped the defense like crazy I ain't gonna lie 18 defense was bad but it's like they have focus on nothing but the defense that's what it seems it seemed like they focus on nothing but the uh, defense in in 19 that's all you really see them tweeting about that's all you really see them tweeting about but um that's the first thing I want to talk about now the second thing he said pump fake draw fouls have been reworked much more reliable now he said and for those keeping track takeover boost would probably be closer to plus 10 primary ratings and five plus other ratings so it's like i think what that's saying is you know how on 18 you have you can pass the ball out to one of your teammates they score three and and, and you get knocked down in the paint 
in the paint by another team and it's still their ball. I think that's what they're talking about when they said, when he said draw fouls and stuff like that. So it's like, if that's fixed, that's good. Because it's like, your team may shoot a three, the other team knock you down in the in the paint and it's and it's like their ball. On 17, it's like if your team may shot a three and the other team knocked you down while your team ain't made a three, you get the ball back. I know y'all think I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm probably not explaining it good, but it's basically your team ain't made the three and you're in the paint to try to get the board if he missed, but the other team defender knocked you down you get what i'm saying so it's like on 18 you don't get the ball back they get the ball but on 17 you get the ball back so if that's what he's talking about and it's fixed that's good because i felt like that was like it was a bad animation in the game like that, that was that was bad in the game so if that's what he's talking about that's good that is fixed but um the previous the dribbling thing it's just it's just bad bro um on 18, they was tweaking the dribbling, but like on 19, they tweaked it any like much more. But in my opinion, with the defense thing, I feel like on 19, the best build that people are going to make is probably lockdown. I feel like a lockdown is going to be god like on 19. I feel like a lockdown is going to be god like. I feel like it's going to be god like on 19. On 18, you didn't really see that many lockdowns. The defense was kind of horrible on there, but with them like tweaking the dribbling and then opening defense even more it wasn't that hard to do de- to hold defense but it's like that's the only thing they're focusing on right now you get what i'm saying and um one more tweet that i had seen he said one more dribbling note when branching out of hop gathers only tier three ball handlers can explode out like last year tier two will be slower but controlled and tier one was always will always fumble so it's like in 19, it's a certain. I think they said like in 19, you have you have tiers you can be. So in tier one, if you burst out with like hops and stuff like that, most likely you're gonna fumble. So I see a lot of people um, in the comments under this tweet saying, basically, you know, stretch bigs and sharps. In 18, stretch bigs, stretch bigs can basically dribble good. They can do big hop steps to get them open to score three pointers. So basically, they saying that has been sweet. So, for 19, if you're planning on making a scratch bid and you're planning on dribble like how you did on 18, it's probably done for. Um, to me, I feel like that's trash also. Even though, like, on 18, when they did them far hop backs and they got open at three-point line, it was, like, a heavily contested shot they would always make. But I feel like that move, that, that move was, it was fire for a stretch big. It was fire for a stretch big. It ain't that much you can really do as a stretch big except shoot and what probably get bored but allowing them to have a little bit of a dribble move it, w- it was kind of good so i seen somebody say no more bigs and sharp abu- abusing the hops so it's like i'm making a sharp for 19 so dribbling i don't know how that's gonna be but i'm gonna you know work my magic to get myself open you get what i'm saying so it's like i don't really care as long as i have a center to set me good screens i'm gonna be gucci you get what i'm saying so I seen another comment somebody said said basically no more stretch bigs stretches cheesing with dribble moves and somebody else said thank god those bills was unstoppable most op build on 18. so it's like it's a lot of i don't what i'm saying is like a lot of trash people basically happy that certain stuff is getting patched it's like if you trash at 2k bros it's not don't play it stop buying the game but why are you buying the game if you're not good at it and all the people you see who happy about this news is actually trash people who don't know how to stop this type of stuff. So basically, bro, what I feel like is I feel like 2K19 will be 2K18 with better defense. And we might, you know what I'm saying, we might have a couple more good little things. But I feel like it's going to be 2K18 with better defense. And the little takeover thing, I feel like that's going to be a good a good adjustment in, uh, into the game. That's going to be a good thing. I see a lot of people saying they like the little takeover thing. But other than that, I don't really see nothing different about 19 with the news that they're giving us. I don't really see nothing different. The shot meter thing. I mean, I like that they gave us the option to put it on our feet because the overall head thing was not – I was I wasn't liking that period. So, um, I like that option. That we, I like we got that option. But so far with the news that Mike Wayne giving us – it's nothing but 
BS, honestly. It's not the but BS. It's like, just just listen to us sometimes. Listen to us and just do what we say, and maybe the game could be good. You get what I'm saying? But if 2K19 is bad this year, y'all, I'm still playing it. I don't care. I'm going to try to make my player to be the best player like my 17 player is. You get what I'm saying? So... 18, I didn't play that game at all. I stopped at 90 overall, and that was it. Um, but hopefully, hopefully 19 is a good game. Because as y'all know, I will be graduating this year. I will be doing four YouTube full time. So hopefully 19 is a good game. I already pre-ordered it. Hope it is a, hopefully it's a good game. And just everybody, if you're planning on going crazy, 2K19, do you, bro. If the game is trash, continue to play it. Do not stop playing it. Continue to play it. You gotta, you just gotta, you gotta work with it. You know what I'm saying? Just work with it. Make your player the best player he could be, and hopefully you'll end up liking the game. That's one thing I messed up with. I didn't continue to play 18, even though it was trash. I should have continued to play it, but I didn't. So it's kind of, it took a toll on me. But 2K19, I will play this game even if it is trash. But we, that's what we're not hoping for. We hopefully, we hope this game will be a good game. But um, that's just my opinion. Leave some of y'all opinion down in the comment section. And one more thing. If you don't have Twitter, you might want to make Twitter. That's where a lot of these people are getting their news from. But um, I'm not saying y'all can listen to what I'm saying. I'm just saying this is my opinion. So um, I'll see y'all in the next video. I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you.